Hello and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill, and Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action by practicing prayer plus some kind of action. The ministry name and email name, or actually website name, is active-faith.org. And my email, love to hear from you, is stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked about flowers for Mother's Day. Today, I want to talk about immorality stopped by scripture. Let me start with Job 36, 14 in LT. They die when they are young after wasting their lives in immorality. Proverbs 2, 16 in LT. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. Acts 15, 20. NLT. Instead, we should write and tell them to abstain from eating food offered to idols, from sexual immorality, from eating the meat of strangled animals, and from consuming blood. Romans 13, 13. Because we belong to the day, we must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in the darkness of wild parties and drunkenness or in sexual promiscuity and immoral living or in quarreling and jealousy. 1 Corinthians 6, 18, run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does, for sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Your physical body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, so treat it with respect. We find this in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You don't, you do not belong to yourself for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. Ephesians 5, 5, you can be sure that no immoral, impure, or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of Christ and God. For a greedy person is an idolater worshiping the things of this world. So sexual immorality can cost you eternity with God. It's not worth it. I have a friend who's an adjunct professor at a nearby Christian school, and uh, one day as he came out of his room, uh, finished teaching for the day, there was a lady in the hallway uh, who worked there at the school, and he saw that she was crying. So he went over to her and said, ma'am, are you okay? Do you need prayer? Is there something wrong? Are you hurt? And she said, I do need prayer. She said, I'm a single mom. My uh, only uh, child is a son who's a senior here in this college. And uh, I'm letting him live at home to save money. He's he's finishing his degree this year. And last week, he let his girlfriend move in with him. They're sleeping together in his bed under my roof. And I'm so angry at this immorality going on in my own home that I'm thinking about moving out of my own house. He said, ma'am, don't do that. Let me tell you about these stakes and verses on them. And let's talk about the power of God's word. He He helped her stake her house, and then we have the cards with the verses on them, the spiritual warfare cards, same verses as the stakes. They put one of those under the the mattress, between the mattress and box springs, where that young couple was sleeping together, even though they were not married. The next day, that young lady packed her bags and left and said she could not stand that house anymore. And the next day, the son repented, asked his mom for forgiveness. Then the lady uh, looked up my friend at the school again when he finished his class and said, you're right, God's word is powerful. How did he do it so fast? And he said, that's just God. Only God can do this stuff. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest part of your personal battle plan might be to guard yourself and your family members from sexual immorality because there's so much at stake. Maybe you could pray like this. Lord, deliver me and my family from all sexual immorality. Help us all to draw closer to you and be able to reject all situations that separate us from you and your love. In Jesus' name. See you next time on Battle Plan. We will hear about how God uses Satan's ignorance. Let me remind you to keep praying because prayer works. God loves you and I love you. Have a great day.